spring has sprung. The birds are feeding heavy in preparation for nesting. And the reptiles had awoken from their winter slumber, basking in the spring sunshine. Our new focus was catching tench on the traditional lift method. BMF, little tinker lifter. To make the experience extra special, we were going to be using handmade floats built by James from Bee Mouse Fishing. The float of choice was aptly named the Little Tinker. The float itself, two float stops, as you can see, stop it moving on the line but not using shot, which might damage the line. Then that goes down to another float stop there, and it's got a tiny, tiny swivel with a little thread of hook length on it. See, it's free moving up and down the line. And on the hook length, we've got the shot that's required. So there's just an SSG shot there, which cocks, cocks the float. And then just below the float stop, you've obviously got the hook, which you might be able to see there. It was man and dog watching the world go by. What more do you want? And after a few handfuls of maggots, the silvers soon switched on. Come here, come here. Come here. Stop being silly. That's a bite. Not the target species, but we're getting into these lovely little roach on the lift method. Fantastic stuff. Excellent. <laughs> It is a chunky one, isn't it? <laughs> After busy days at work, I was more than happy reveling in the silvers, whilst James was up in his hook size and moving to treble my git for a bigger stamp of fish. Not the target, but nice to get in some different species. What have we got, mate? Nice little stock 
Yeah, it's a good neck, isn't it? But it was the ever curious Jay that signalled what was to come next. What have you got? I think it's hybrid. <laughs> Lovely job. I don't think it's pure bream, I think it's hybrid this. Oh, well done mate, that's lovely fish that. Well done. And then came our secret weapon, the BMF isotope lift float. Bream. Is it Crusian? Well done, mate. Absolute cracker. It's got a beautiful dorsal fin on it, hasn't it? Well It's a decent size. Oh, it's good in this one. It's the biggest one yet. Yes. <laughs> Stunning, isn't it? It's quite a deep fish, actually. Nice fish. Cracking. Right, should we get him back? Aye. After a respectable haul, we were still missing that tinker. So I'm literally on my way to meet James. He's been fishing most of the afternoon and I've been out with the missus and had a lovely Sunday dinner. But uh, I've just missed by about 10 minutes. I'm 10 minutes away from the pond. I've just missed James catching the first tench of the season, but he's gonna keep it in the net for me for when I get there. I'm gonna make my way down. To where James is fishing. It's probably in the usual spot. There he is. <laughs> where is the beast? I'm ready for the big reveal. <laughs> oh my god mate. What a stunning fish. That is beautiful. Triple red maggot. Well done, well done. I couldn't believe that when I was in the car and you rang me, I was like, ah, I can't believe I just missed out by 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes. And then we had one last crack at the tinkers. Excellent, man. It's just such a nice colour, that. Feisty little thing. Lovely job. Nodules all over his mush. With a finely tuned lift rig, James was bagging up. Ah. 
out of 25 pound of brain. Green but with time running out, it took a last minute change of venue to score that final tinker. Plod in this thing. This is what I've come for, tent. It's all I'm interested in, tent. My bream, hybrids, roach to about a pound. Neck. But pike have been sat down here. Yeah. Uh, they keep snatching up roach and putting back, so I'm having to walk the roach over yeah. there to yeah. stop them getting up. Snaffle don't weigh in. Especially some of the nicer ones yeah. that get on for a pound like. Oh, well. No worries. BMF, little tinker lifter. Happy days. If you're interested in the BMF floats, please see the website link in the description. And finally, a special thanks to Soul Trader 57 for providing the music used in this video. All the best.